the former chief minister of goa who is the uh, senior bjp leader lakshmi khan parsekar will be resigning from the primary membership uh, of the uh, party this evening and uh, is going to be relieving himself from all responsibilities that the party has given him because mr parsekar who lost his last election did not get a seat from the mandram constituency this time round so let's go across to sohit who's monitoring the situation in goa where we'll be seeing uh, lots of changes and uh, uh, possible setbacks to the bjp what exactly is uh, mr parsekar planning to uh, do next has he decided his next course of action whether he will be contesting as an independent or joining another party Uh, well, uh, the former Chief Minister Lakshmi uh, Kant Parsekar has said that he will be quitting the BJP, and at the same time, he said that uh, tomorrow, that is on Sunday, he will be meeting his workers and discussing and deciding what to do further. So we will have to wait till tomorrow to know uh, that what he will do next. But his resign, uh, his resignation comes after uh, the Mandram ticket was given to his rival Dayanand Sopte, who defected to BJP from Congress in 2018. Now this was always an issue that we know before the election that the BJP is going to face. Now one needs to remember that uh, to form uh, the government in Goa, BJP took a lot of people from other parties, uh, especially from Congress in their party, uh, just to form the elections. Uh, the uh, the government after 2017. Now in 2022, once uh, when they uh, once again want to uh, want to uh, provide the tickets, there are only 40 seats. However, the number of candidates that the BJP has has increased, and that's the reason what we are seeing. is that people are resigning now we also need to remember that this resignation is coming a day uh, after utpal parikar son of manohar parikar resigned he was also denied a, a ticket from panji and uh, babush was given a ticket and that's the reason he has uh, re uh, resigned and also said that he'll be contesting independently in fact on saturday uh, shivsena mp sanjay raut in fact shivsena is also the uh, con going to contest the goa elections has said that they'll ensure he has also previously said that they'll ensure that uh, other parties apart from bjp should not put their candidate against utpal parikar and we all should help utpal parikar to win so this is what is happening in goa as of now it would be very important and this is a setback for bjp because the bjp already has a lot of competition be it from the congress the trinamool congress and aam aadmi party also contesting from uh, from goa and at the same time the former chief minister who in fact uh, was a part of the core committee and he was also part of bjp's manifesto committee quitting however uh, the bjp already tried to uh, he uh, he was summoned on friday to delhi and uh, they tried to ensure to him that things will happen for him however what we come to know as of now is lakshmi parsekar is quitting and he will be in fact announcing tomorrow that what will be his future course of action